Has home educating become easier over the years? Hmm. Yes and no. Let me explain. Hello and welcome to Adventure of the Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things neurodivergent family life in a home educating family of five. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It means the world. So before we begin, I would like to ask you if you get a couple of minutes in and you're like, yeah, I like this please give the video a like. My views and my likes are not the same and kind of makes me wonder if people are watching like the content or not. So if you like it, could you like it? You don't have to subscribe. If you're someone who hasn't subscribed, you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. It does, I would love you, I would love it if you did, but please like the video. If you like the video, it's how I can tell whether videos were well received or not, because um, if you watch them, that's great, but I wanna know what you like to watch. Uh, so if you could like it, that would mean the world to me. So as I said, today I'm answering the question, has home educating got easier as the years have gone by? Um, for context, I have never sent my children to school. Charles became compulsory school age in, um, it would have been Easter 2017. Um, and we kind of started home educating him when he would have gone to reception. But really they've been home educated since birth. They've just never been to school. They've always been taught just by me. So, uh, you could say I have almost 13 years experience or you could say I have eight years experience, whichever way, like they've never been to school. They've always been here with me. So the very beginning with Charles, um, yes, it was hard because I had to teach somebody to read and I didn't remember learning to read myself. I th I'm pretty sure from what my parents had said, I either went to school almost, almost, I was either almost reading or I was reading. Um, so, and I've always had um, a love of books. I've always had, um, my dog's trying to catch a fly. I've always had um, a reading age above my age when I was at school. So it's that was a big hurdle for me, was trying to teach him to read. And he did learn to read, but he learned to read a lot later. Um, because around the time that I started home educating him, maybe a year in, I realised that I was trying to create school at home. And that's what I was actively trying to avoid. So we found different styles of home education and worked out which worked, what worked for us best. And actually the philosophy that we agreed with the most was that formal education shouldn't begin until a child is six or seven. So for a year, we tried a very traditional type of homeschooling or home education and that was essentially like school at home. And then I realised that's not what I signed up for. That's not what I'm doing here. Um, and went a little bit more towards the other kinds of home education styles. Maybe Charlotte Mason is probably a good, probably the closest fit. Um, I've always said we're eclectic, but Charlotte Mason is probably the one I align with the most. And she advocated for children not doing any formal learning until they hit the, the age of seven or the year that they became seven. So we pulled right back and just focused on um, life skills, on social skills, on family life and on the love of learning, the love of books um, and play and lots and lots of play. And then he started reading when he was seven. So like he was reading and now he has a reading age that is above his age. He does love reading. He'll read anything. He'll read to his siblings. He'll read to his cousins. He'll literally just read to anybody. And he has a real love of reading. So um, with that information, <laughs> um, I feel like home educating Albert has been easier than home educating the other two because I've had to work out more. So like with that knowledge of less is more very, very early on, Albert was easier to home educate and has been easier to home educate because I've had a different viewpoint on it. Um, and also he has benefited from the, um, from the wisdom and the knowledge I've learned from home educating the other two. So Bessie didn't learn to read until she was eight. She really, really struggled with the concept. And I say learn to, she didn't learn to read until she was eight. Um, we didn't realize she could read until she was eight. It turns out she thought she did. She's never understood phonics. She doesn't understand phonics or blending. She still really struggles with that at almost 11, but she thought that was reading. She thought every time I read something, I was like, T I was like th the, the c at a cat in my head. And she was like, I just can't do it. I obviously can't read. And then we realized actually that if you told her that word says volcano, she remembered it. And then she would be able to point it out from then on. Like, what does that word say? Volcano. 
Um, and then I realised that she could do this with multiple words and we worked out that she could read we we read we gave her a book of a, like um a list of a hundred words and she read all of them perfectly and I was like yeah you can read <laughs> but we realised that she has to be um she's a sight reader she does n still does not get phonics she really really struggles to um phonetically work out a word but if you tell her this word says psychology she just gets it and that's it that's in her head she'll be able to recognise it from then on so. Albert benefited from me really understanding like to my soul that everyone learns differently and everyone needs a different as different style of teaching you can't in home education be a style of teach in one way and it benefit all three children the same way you have to be able to adapt and change to suit your child's needs even if you have multiple children and sometimes that takes a lot of detective work and a lot of hard work to work out a way to get the knowledge across to them in a way that all of them will understand if you have multiple children. And that's something that I find easier now. Um, I don't have wobbles as much anymore. I finally taken my own advice on a lot of things. And it's definitely easier from that perspective when we perspective once we first started when we first started home educating I wobbled literally on a weekly basis am I doing the right thing I knew that school wasn't the right thing for them either but I didn't think I was the best person for the job and as I've got older and I've grown in confidence and I've been doing it more I've realized that school and home education are not the same thing so the moment I made that really really understood that definition between the two that they are not the same a teacher is not qualified to home educate and a home educator is not qualified to teach a group of 30 children in a school um when i realized really to my core the distinction between the two suddenly home educating became a lot easier i realized the only person as qualified as me to teach my children is my husband and even then, you could kind of argue that maybe he's not because he's at work all day. He's not here with them. He's not the one who um, every day is dealing with all of the little things that make up motherhood in my case. And um, I'm the only one qualified for this job fully. No one else. And um, and I shared, I think it was a short recently. I've also shared it on my Instagram recently. Um, if not, it's coming up soon saying that um teaching to home education is like grandma's cooking to a restaurant like if you want a certain thing then you go to a certain place if you want good honest home cooking that literally tastes like love you're gonna go and have grandma's cooking you're gonna go and have a roast dinner at grandma's house you're gonna have apple pie and custard or whatever and it's all made with love for you personally that's that's home education grandma's cooking and home education they're the same thing metaphorically right if you want the the meal in the restaurant that is made for a hundred people exactly the same way it is not special in the same way for your child it is not tailored to your child then you go to school so i guess the short answer is yes overall it has got easier the longer i've been home educating and the lessons that my children have taught me have educated me probably more than i've educated them However, um, until very, very recently, I was still struggling, like all the time. I was asking my kids, hey, what do you want to learn about? I was, and then we were, I was organising something and I would hear the resounding, well, that's not very fun. Uh, or this is not fun as I thought it was going to be. And I'd be like, well, I've done it now. I've done the work now. Like, let's do it. And I would be met with, Ugh. and then they would do it. Or I'd be met with refusals. And I was thinking to myself, what is the point of this? Like, I um, like I might as well just send them to school because they're refusing anyway. Like, I should make it someone else's problem. They'll go to school and they'll refuse at school. They'll refuse to do it. And no one's going to be able to make them. Um, I might, They might as well do it. I'm not being effective here. And then we started our unit studies. And all they do outside of that is handwriting practice. Um, and maths and Charles does lots of other things because he's a lot older but Bessie and Albert are doing a lot less than I was trying to make them do uh, but 
it's more concentrated and they're having the best time and I haven't had a single since we started doing my unit studies and I hate to plug it again but just on the topic of the video like since we started doing it and I'm not suggesting not not plugging it in the sense go and download it but finally working out the way that my children really could learn wanted to learn what they needed was just a game changer and it's taken me this long to work it out <laughs> albert is almost eight and charles is almost 13 Bess is almost 11 it's taken me this long to go oh oh okay why can't it be fun why can't it be the most fun they have all day well, well of course it can i just have to work out how to do it and that's what i've essentially done we are a unit study family that's the way we home educate maybe with a bit of charlotte mason thrown in but at the moment we're not doing nature study i can't find a nature study that kind of fits in with what i want to achieve um and that's something i'm going to um i'm i'm going to do soon i actually i do have a pagan one that i've that i've made that's only for like from like um the end of october to the beginning of december but i i want to do something that's more an educational nature study but less that's is less about paganism um and yeah it's 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 something that i'm bringing i want to bring back because we really enjoy our walks and um we need to bring that back we need to bring nature study back to our lives so i think when you sit down and you really realize what your child wants and needs and that actually childhood should be fun and good and enjoyable and peaceful and slow and gentle once that realization has happened which it has for me maybe in the recent years not all of those things have happened in the last bit but realizing that they should be having as much fun as possible it shouldn't be serious it shouldn't be like we've got to do this because it's very important it should we should be doing it because it's fun and it's really important and you can make the important things really fun as soon as i had that realization and completely changed the way i presented subjects to them it became so much easier and um check out my previous video uh where i talk about the three three ways to make it really really easy um three very easy um resources that are fun and are going to make it easier for you and are going to make it easier for everybody that would be a really good video to watch if you're watching this and you're struggling right now um i feel like i'm gonna sneeze you know when you get that kind of tickle mm. um so yeah in the the the, the long answer has been this video but the short answer is yes it has got easier but only until very very recently so there we go thank you so much for watching uh take care uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you very very soon bye